Hello everyone, welcome to another session of AP Human Geography with Mr. Elrod. I got cut off in my last video, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. What I was saying was uh, that under Cohen's theory, and, and really in modern conflict, uh, former conflict strategy, when we talk about military strategy, really isn't going to apply. Uh, back in the day when we could, you know, you could line armies up and go at each other and, and just take over land and territory, and really that's how you uh, controlled things. Um, that's not really the way that the military strategy works anymore. Uh, obviously, we have very sophisticated uh, military technology with missiles and airplanes that can fly long distances, and uh, so it's gotten a lot more complicated. And so that's really why uh, maybe the the conflict zones are going to be a little bit more intermittent throughout the world in these shatter belt and gateway areas. Um, but also, economics is becoming uh, so much more important. Global economics, especially energy. Uh, when it comes to oil and natural gas are so important and so that's why some of these little pockets are going to be so much more important also uh, maybe not necessarily the large states that we uh, that we have thought about in the past and so we use these global geopolitics really to understand some of our past present and future relationships between states if we want to look at alliances if we want to look at um, organizations that have come together uh, then using those global geopolitics is, is really vital to, to uh, trying to understand that. And so that's how we can launch into a conversation on, uh, conversation on states and supranational organizations uh, because a lot of the supranational organizations you're going to come out of alliances that are based on uh, the globalized world that we live in. And you know some of the relationships are kind of odd uh, when you look at maybe some of the ideological differences but the economics uh, of those countries brings them together. So that's all that we're going to do uh, for this particular video, except for oh, we have a time for we have time for a quiz, ferret. And I want to take make a shout out to Cool Cat for sending me apparently an updated version of our ferret. Uh, they were saying that um, my old picture was, as they put it, painfully, uh, painfully poor. I believe is uh, where the words that were used. Anyway, so I appreciate Cool Cat sending me uh, a higher resolution picture. So I'm going to go with that. So our, our uh, quiz, quer uh, quiz ferret question for the day is, who, prepares, who proposed the Heartland geopolitical theory? And so if you were paying attention in our last video, that is going to be Harlford McKinder. So hopefully you got that right. All right, everyone, I appreciate you uh, listening. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, fill out the comment section below. I'll get back to you. If not, I hope to see you next time.